For those of you who haven't been to Ireland and seen the Ardnahoe distillery, um, I would like to talk to you a little bit about it, its location, what we're trying to achieve, the people who work therein. Uh, so by starting at the beginning myself, I've been in this business quite a long time. I've been making whiskey or blending whiskey or whatever. Uh, well, now, well over 50 years. Um, it's actually 56 years I've been doing this. And so what am I doing here at this age in life in a new distillery? Well, uh, the hunger is still there, the passion is still there. I still love everything to do with whiskey. And when Stuart Lane proposed, uh, told me about the proposed new distillery, Arden the Hole, uh, it was too good to be true. I mean, I've been involved in quite a few Isla distilleries or two in particular, Brooke Larry and Beaumont, and they were long established distilleries. However, to be involved with a brand new distillery was uh, more than a body could stand. I really was excited. So Stuart asked me to join his team here uh, at Arnahoe to help create this brand new facility, this beautiful distillery. So my main part in it was, in, um, apart from making the whiskey, was in the design of the pot stills and the mash tun and that sort of stuff. I'm not a contractor, I don't know anything about electrics. Uh, it's all pure distilling for me. And he described to me the, the, exactly the whiskey he wanted and I'm pleased to say it was going to be a really heavy peated uh, Isla malt, quite sweet, quite fruity, uh, about 40, 45 parts per million, which is classic Isla. So that was really that ticked all the boxes. So I get to build a distillery or I get to help design and build a distillery. Um, and it's going to be real classic Isla. That was an offer I could not refuse. It was just too good to be true, particularly at my stage of my career. My career is just about over. And to be part of a brand new distillery in Isla was beyond my wildest dream. So I've been here now for two years and we are now making whiskey and the two years have gone in extremely quickly. We have a brilliant young team of operators here. Uh, <coughs> some of them are experienced and some of them are not experienced, they're learning on the job. and. They are some of the quite young uh, distillers and they've got young families which is great, there's continuity there and some learning for the first time, you know, we've got some guys who have never made whiskey but now they're making it which is really, really good and there's no better place to have a, uh, there's no place, better place to work uh, in, in fact in Scotland but particularly in Isla other than a distillery, this is where it all happens, this is our lifeblood, this is all we know. Uh, it's in our DNA, making whiskey is in our DNA, we're very proud of it, you know, some, you know for a distillery, for a, an island of this size to have so many world class distilleries kind of says it all, you know, it's just amazing. And now we have Arden the Hole and I can assure you the whiskey that we're making today is exactly what I would look for from a classic island. It's got fruit, <coughs> it's got flowers, it's got beautiful sweet notes from the mash tun here, just breakfast cereal, hot breakfast cereal notes coming through. And over all that, you've got this beautiful smoky flavour coming through from the peat. You know, the peat comes, Isla peat. So it's got all that bracken and heather and wild plants which grow on, on the, in the bog land. So everything is right. We have distilled the spirit, I can assure you, I've been involved in lots and lots of spirits in my time. You know, did that professionally for so long. The spirit that we are producing at Ardna Ho today is as good as anything I've ever tasted in 56 years. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm so, so proud of it. I probably won't be around by the time it's bottled. I'll probably be in that big somewhere else up in the sky, but at least. I had the chance to help make it and I can assure you it's absolutely stunning. And that's good because the people who own this are a family business. This is not a multinational. I have worked with multinationals and it's been that was a great experience as well. But now you've got the owner of the company, you know, the, the Lane brothers and Dad Stuart, and Stuart and I are the same age more or less. And I think with the, 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 the family, the pride that they must have it have in this distillery and the quality of the spirit, this should be absolutely over the moon. This is a great facility and it took a lot of courage for the family to invest so heavily 
and building a new distillery on Isla and a remote site in the north end of the island, probably one of the best sites in the world. But it takes a lot of balls to do that, you know, and these are two young guys, Scott and Andrew, they've really got behind it. And so we're wishing them all the luck in the world. But they can be assured that the whiskey that's getting made here on their behalf is going to be as good as anything available in Scotland just now, or indeed from Ireland. It's a beautiful, beautiful whisky. So while I say goodbye to the Lane brothers and move on uh, to, into retirement, for me this has been the cup final. And we just won the cup. This is such a fantastic experience. And seeing this young team, really uh, super young guys coming in, and the quality of whisky, this is going to provide a very, very bright future for a lot of people on this island. And that's what it's all about. It's all about Isla, it's all about the people, it's all about the spirit. It's as one. They're not safe that it's as one. And you should find all these characters in the spirit we're making. You should find honesty, integrity, passion. You should find it all in the spirit. Because that's what Isla is all about. We're a small island, the population is very small. But we do. When the chips are down, we do come together as the scene with the distilleries. It's a great place to be, and I'm so, so proud to have been part of this great journey, which is just starting. Hopefully it will go for 200 years like the rest of the distilleries on this island. I'm sure it will. So it's been a great privilege and a pleasure. Thank you.